Your 19 first alert forecast, sponsored by the original Mattress Factory. All right, 19 first alert meteorologist Andy Chillian here uh, today. Andy, not the greatest drive into work today for a lot of us, I know, but uh, I don't know. Who, what do you prefer, rain or snow? Well, really? I, mean, I feel like the rain's going to be easier to drive on, obviously, right. or drive with uh, compared to yesterday when we saw that heavy snow that really caused some travel issues across really did. eastern Cuyahoga mm -hmm. County into parts of Lake County as well. We don't have to worry about that today, but we do still have the rain out there that could lead to some ponding on roadways, some gusty winds as well, and that may end up leading to maybe some power flickers or sporadic outages where some of that snow is still clinging on to those trees, that heavy wet snow that fell across those eastern zones yesterday. So this afternoon, rain's becoming more widespread. If you haven't seen the rain yet, you will. Winds are going to be at their strongest, gusting up to 45 miles per hour at times. Remaining damp this evening, those gusty winds will continue. And then overnight, a few showers will linger. It'll still be breezy, but winds won't be quite as strong. And so we'll allow the 19 first alert weather day to expire after midnight, even if it's still not the nicest start to the day tomorrow. Now, right now, I do want to focus on temperatures. All of us have risen above freezing and some areas that saw the snow yesterday were already well into the 40s. Now it's going to take a while to melt all of several inches of snow where areas like Highland Heights got up to eight inches yesterday. Very localized, but nonetheless, a lot of snow with that lake effect snow band. But either way, we are a bit chillier further to the south. You can see that breeze that is sustained at 20 miles per hour in Worcester and Canton and about 14 miles per hour from the northwest in Cleveland. Here's first alert Doppler. A lot of rain out there. It's rain, not snow. If we see any snow today, it would only be a few melting flakes mixed in with the rain. I'm not expecting any type of heavy snow like what we saw for those spots yesterday, but it is rolling off the lake again and you can see it becoming a bit more widespread. Could be heavy at times down across parts of Medina, Summit County. Also, that could also be indicating some uh, wet snowflakes at least trying to mix in or melting before they reach the surface. But here's the second low pressure system sending all this activity coming off the lake. So a look at first alert future view. It's just a nasty end of the day. Just be careful on your evening commute, even if roads are just damp, there still may be some ponding or just slick areas on it. You know how that works. As we head through this evening, temperatures in the 40s, still windy and damp for high school football playoff games. Now tomorrow we'll start with scattered showers and everything's very scattered tomorrow, so a lot of us will see some dry time. We will still remain stuck in the 40s, though. Temperatures really don't budge too much over these next couple of days. Few breaks in the clouds maybe on Sunday, otherwise just mostly cloudy, but we'll be drier for the second half of your weekend. So like I said, high school football playoffs, 40s, windy, chilly, rainy, not the nicest out there, but hey, it's not going to be as picturesque as yesterday's brown snow globe, but nonetheless, so we'll still see some of that rain falling. So 40s today, northwest wind could gust up to 45 miles per hour. It's just damp and windy, and the showers will linger overnight with temperatures barely dropping. We'll still be in the mid 40s, so above freezing, no concerns for any frozen precipitation. Here's a look at our next seven days. We've got a dry second half of the weekend, and then more rain moves in Monday and Tuesday. That's a busy travel day. So is Wednesday before Thanksgiving, which looks to be dry. And then we could be setting up for a very active pattern Thanksgiving and beyond. Here's a look at our double weekend as we go into Black Friday and Thanksgiving weekend. Cold air temperatures near freezing. Numerous snow chances. We will have a lot to talk about, but this is your early first alert for an active pattern that's going to be setting up towards the end of next week.